morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm at the top of the hill just above Bratley View here in the New Forest. It's an early morning, it was going to drizzle today but I thought I'll come out anyway for sunrise and this top of the hill here there's a sunrise happening over there but there's this large pond which I didn't know existed until I looked on the map yesterday and I thought that could be a very fine place to get a reflection. So there's a little bit of wind, a tiny breeze, and it's just rippling the water. So I've got the camera set up down here, really quite low to the ground. Um, I don't think this is a very deep lake anyway, but it's uh, got the camera down at ground level down here. As you can probably see, there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spin you round and show you what it is that it's seeing. Basically, what we have there, if you ever focus on it, is a nice horizontal split reflection. There's some nice clouds in the sky. If you look over to the east, you can see there really is a nice cloudy, moody sunrise starting to happen. And that is pretty much what I want. So I've got a 30 second, I've got a, a six, no, a two stop ND and also a, a hard edge, soft edge uh, 0.7 ND on there to take the, the uh, light out of the sky. And it's sitting at 25 uh, seconds exposure at F16, which should just take the ripples off the water nicely. So let's just see if we can get that out to 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yep. So let's take that shot focused on the tree on the other side because the water's going to be smoothed out. There's no point focusing on that. A nice moody sky, a nice bit of colour there. And that's a third, 26, let's take that back to 30, 30 seconds, F20, there we go. Okay, so let's see how well that works. Well, I'm back again. I've um, come to the other end of the lake and I'm actually not pointing in the direction of the sunrise. I'm pointing sort of north, which is actually away from the sunrise, because there's some quite nice clouds over the other end of the lake. And I'm trying to get the reflection of the large oak tree that's over there in the distance there. And I'm actually lined up along the edge of the lake here and there's a little burnt bit of old tree just in front of where the camera is. I'm not near the camera at the moment because I've got a 10 second exposure going on because I want the completely all of the ripples in the lake to disappear. Now I've got a, a portrait orientation uh, just framing the edge of the lake uh, so if I show you I'm framing sort of that bit there with the tree the little tree the little bit of the shoreline the reflection of the tree um, into the frame as well and I'm hoping that with a 10 second, oh sorry, 10 minute exposure, what I'll get is um, all of the ripples will disappear on the lake and I'll just get some nice reflections. And also the clouds are moving slowly, so they should sort of blur quite nicely, which will give more emphasis to the tree and the shoreline uh, by blurring the background or effectively blurring the background. So I've never really done a 10 minute exposure before. That's a pretty much a first for me. So I don't really know how well it's going to work. Um, and I'll show you when we get to the point that it actually is completed. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it might be quite an interesting shot. And when I've done that one, uh, there's a little bit of color coming in the sky in the distance over there now. And there's some nice clouds above it giving some emphasis to the sky. So I might go back to the other side of the lake and uh, see if I can get some of that colour that's developing in the sky here into the shot. I hope so. We'll see. You never know unless you try. Anyway, onward and upward as various people say. Well, they say it doesn't, uh, it doesn't pay to make assumptions, but the sun's just coming up and it's actually kicking off on the other side of the lake here, as you can see. I've deliberately framed the, uh, the tree behind, uh, in front of the sun as much as possible, and I'm getting this beautiful orange glow reflecting across. I've got a, an, a, a six stop filter on, it's a 30 second exposure, and 
I think that's starting to look half reasonable. So I'm going to take another shot. I just want the sun sparkle, so I need a, a very, very, very small aperture. F22, and the sun's just peeping between the branches. I need to be a bit higher for that. So let's just get the camera, sorry about this, reacting in real time. <coughs> I'm getting bumped around a fair bit, but needs must. Right, that's starting to look nice. Sorry about that, I had to react very quickly. I want 25 second exposure, f22, just get the camera set up for that shot. Uh, I'll spin you around so you can see what it is I'm looking at. Now that is quite something. So I'm focused, f, uh, f22, 25th of a second. I've got the sun sparkling through the tree from here. And that is going to be quite an interesting image. I'm looking forward to seeing that one developed. I've got a, a six stop ND on. I've also got the soft edge um, uh, graduated filter on set more or less horizontally, taking a bit more light out of the sky. And that is, that is stunning. That, I'll spin you around. Look at that. Isn't that something? Uh, let's have a look at that on the back of the camera. Well, that was worth getting up at five o'clock in the morning for. That is quite something. I'm very pleased with that. In fact, I might switch lenses and put the 24 to 70 on. Bear with me. stunning that sunrise behind that tree is just creating a golden golden glow around it let me spin you around I've just put the 24 to 70 on and pulled in much tighter on the shot and I'm really very pleased with this image let me show you look at that that is something a little bit special I'm hoping I get that back get that processed I'm looking forward to that that's going to be quite something Anyway, I'm going to move on now and move down the valley, uh, maybe take a few more pictures before going back and doing a day's work, and we'll catch you a bit later on. Well, I've done from here. Uh, the sun's well and truly up. There's still a bit of colour in the sky, but I think I've got the shots I wanted. I was just chatting to the guy who appeared in some of those shots. Uh, the only other person here and he was a photographer obviously as well and he said go over to Andrew Mayer's pond which is about three miles from here he said it's perfect for sunset so if the weather holds good for today and it's not looking too shabby uh, all told it's not looking too shabby if the weather's half decent tonight I think I'll head over there and see if I can find the place <laughs> 